Okay, here is how I went about solving today's uh, 8 by 8 Ken Ken puzzle. This is all mathematical equations, and it was a medium difficulty puzzle. So let's start right here. We know that a 6 goes there. We know there's going to be a 1, 2, and a 3 here. That's the only way to get 6. 1 and an 8 to get this 7 in a subtraction problem. And we know that 280 is 5 times 7 times 8. Since there's already an 8 in this column, I'm going to put an 8 right there. We also know that to get 21, you can only get that with 6, 7, and 8, which means that in this 8, 1 combination, the 8's going to have to go there. The 1's going to have to go there. 48 in a multiplication with two boxes. Can only be gotten with 6 and 8. We already have a 6 in this column, so 6 will go here. 8 will go there. 112 can be gotten two ways. 4, by, four times 4 times 7, or 2 times 8 times 7. Now, because there is a 7 in this row because of that 42, we know that the 7 is going to go down here. So this cannot be 4 times 4. This will have to be 2 times 8. The 8 will have to go there, so it doesn't duplicate an 8 in that column. The 2 will have to go there. We now know this will be 1 times 6 times 7. All right, moving on. With this 8 here, 24 in a multiplication problem can only be gotten with 4 times 6. That's good to know. So we're left with 4 in a subtraction problem. Because we've got the 4 used up, the 6 used up, there are only two possible equations left. 5 minus 1 or 7 minus 3. Let's take a look at this row down here. We've got this, another 4 with the answer being uh, 4 in a subtraction problem. That can either be gotten, well, pretty much only by 1 and 5 here, 5 minus 1. Because 2 minus 6 wouldn't work. We already have a 6 here. 3 minus 3 from 7 won't work. And 8 minus 4 won't work. So this is only going to be 1 and 5, which means this one cannot also be 1 and 5 because that would cancel out the 1 and 5 down here. So this one must be 3 and 7. Now, because there's 1, 2, and 3 in this row, that means the 7 would go here and the 3 would go here. We also know that we have to finish up this equation with 5 times 7 times 8 to get the 280 because that 7's in that row. A 5 goes here and a 7 goes right there. All right, 4 and 6, we are left with 1, 2, and 5 to go in these various boxes. 2 and 5 can't go here because there's already a 2 in that row and a 5 will not divide into 42 evenly so that must be 1 that means this must be 5 that's 1 that's 2 that's 8 we still have a 6 7 and 8 here let's take a look at this row 14 is 1 times 2 times 7. It's the only way it can be done. We already have a 1 in that column, so that means the 1 goes here, the 2 and the 7 go here. We're not sure about the rest of these, but because there's already a 7 in this column, a 7 cannot go here. It must go here, leaving a 6 here. 2 and 7, this is 3 times 4 times 5. Now, or 3 plus 4 plus 5, excuse me, it's addition. We know there's 1, 2, 3 in this row, so 3 can't be here because the 3 will cancel out that row. 3 here also cancels out, so the 3 goes here. The 4 will have to go here, and the 5 will have to go here. 1, 2, and 3 leaving a 6 over here. Now, let's take a look. We put this 1 here. This is 1 and 8, so we know a 1 goes here and an 8 goes here. Because there are no ones in this multiplication problem, since they're taken care of with the rows and the columns, the only thing left in a three-corner box to get to 24 is 2 times 3 times 4. We don't know the configuration yet, so we will work on that. This will be 2 and 7, we know. This is 4 and 6. This is 6, 7, and 8. We already have an 8 across this way, 8 across that way, so the 8 goes here. We're going to have a 6 and a 7. Now, 7 does not divide into 36. If I put a 7 here to get to the product or the sum of 10, it would have to be 7, 1, and 2. There's already a 2, so the 7 must go here. The 6 must go here. This was 6 and 4. We are left with 
possible equations here. This can really only be gotten by 1, 4, and 5, because a 5 won't divide into the 36. So the 5 has to go over here. And to get the remaining 5, we see that by a 2 and 3. Can't have it with the 2 there. So this must be 5, 1, and 4. This must be 3 and 6. 3 times 6 is 18, leaving 2 to finish that out. The 2 goes here, and the 7 goes here to finish that 14. Okay. Moving on along, 3 and 6, we knew that this was going to be 2, 3, and 4. What other numbers do we have? We've still got to get a 5 in this column. Can't go here, can't go up there, can't go here, so the 5 must go here. Great. Now, we still got to get a 3, 4, and a 6. 6 can't go here, that's covered. 6 is covered there, so the 6 must go here, the 3 must go here. If we move on down this column, we knew that this had to be 2, 3, and 4, so 3 goes here. We've got 2 and 4. The 2's got to go down here because of that 2 there. 4 there. That leaves 6 here. And 6 plus 4 is 11, leaving us with 4 more right there. Okay, perfect. We're getting close to finished. This has to be a 4. And we have a possibility of... 2, 3, and 5. Now, 5 is covered in that row, covered in that row, so that must be a 5 there. This must be a 3 here. We have to do 2 and 3. The 3 is already covered, so the 3 goes here. The 2 goes here. We still have to get a 1 and a 2. The 2 is covered in that column, so 2 goes there. 1 goes there. And, let's see, we still have to get a 1 and an 8. Well, this already has an 8 here to finish out this row, so the 8 must go here, a 1 must go there, and 2 plus 8 is 10, plus 3 is 13, needing 7 to equal the 20. We still have to get a 2 and a 4 to finish out this one here. There's already a 2 there, so the 2 goes here, and the 4 goes there. We knew this was going to be 1, 4, and 5. 1s are covered, so 1 must go here. That 4 is covered, so the 4 goes there, the 5 goes there. We're left with 4 and 5 to finish out this one. There's 4, so 5 goes here, 4 goes here. This has to be 3 and 5. There's the 5 already, so 3 goes, oops, excuse me, 3 goes there, 5 goes there. And we're left with 3 and 7 to complete that particular row. 3 there, 7 there, and ta-da. There we go.